So in the next section, we will see how to convert decimal into hexadecimal using floating point numbers. So here, we are given with the number 0.93 in decimal and we have to convert it into hexadecimal. So we will take the number 0.93 and we will multiply it with 16. Why with 16? Because base of hexadecimal is 16. So that's why we will multiply it with 16. So we get the number 14.88. Now the integer part is 14 or you can say E and the fractional part is 0.88. So is the fractional part is equal to 0? No, the fractional part is not equal to 0. So we will multiply the fractional part again with 16 and we get the answer 14.08. Now the integer part is 14 or you can say e and the fractional part is 0 0.08 here. So is the fractional part is equal to 0? No, the fractional part is not equal to 0. So again we will take the fractional part and we will multiply it with 16 and we get the answer 1.28. So now the integer part is 1 so we write 1 here. And the fractional part is 0.28. So we write 0.28 here. So again, is the fractional part is equal to 0? No, not 0. So we will take the fractional part and we will multiply it with 16. And we get the answer 4.48. So 4 is the integer part and 0.48 is the fractional part. Now, is the fractional part is equal to 0? No, the fractional part is not equal to 0. So again, multiply it with 16 and we get the answer 7.68. So 7 comes here and 0.68 comes here. So now we can see that the fractional part is not equal to 0. So and we also see that the fractional part is not ending. So we will stop the procedure. If the fractional part is not equal to 0 till 5 calculations as we can see that till 5 calculations the fractional part is still not equal to 0 and it is not ending. So we will calculate it till 5 numbers and then we will stop. So we will stop in two cases. The first case is that the fractional part is equal to 0 and the second case is that the fractional part is not ending. So we will multiply it 5 times and if still it is not equal to 0 then we will stop the procedure. So doing it 5 times is enough if it is not ending but you can do it more if you want to do that. But that is enough as long as calculations are concerned. You don't need to go ahead. Alright. So Again, we will calculate the answer by going from top to bottom of the integer part. So the decimal point will maintain its place and we can write the answer as point EE147. As you can see here, point EE147 in hexadecimal. So now we can say that the number 0.93 in decimal is equal to point double e 147 in hexadecimal so this is how we can convert decimal into hexadecimal using floating point numbers